Okay, what this uh, is going to be about is um, the there's a feature in here called Spotify um, Spotify Code Sucker, and uh, we can uh, bring in these. These are a couple more bookmarklets. By the way, what a bookmarklet is is it's JavaScript executing as a bookmark. And every time you click it it executes some JavaScript that then operates on the page. Um, it's really cute how it works and if you want to find out uh, where there's a lot more of these bookmark, let's go to Square Free and then do um, so it's J Jesse's bookmark site. You click there and there's all these tons of bookmarklets. He also has a, a similar site called Pornzilla that is uh, bookmarklets aimed at uh, at extracting content from porn sites but uh, it it's all basically the same link content and you can then take the links and extract you can customize them to do such things as like one thing I like to do is be able to take text um, in a page and then link it to a search on YouTube or something like that um, and how I came up with my bookmarks list is by modifying bookmarklets that he had on his site. Um, so let's uh, let's drag and drop these the Spotify bookmarklets up here. So we put that one there, and then the Spotify sucker, and then we'll go to a Spotify. We'll go to the Spotify, and um, so go to. Spotify music for everyone. I've got an account there. And uh, hopefully I'm still logged in. I opened my web player and select a playlist. And one that I was going to demonstrate was um, the playlist for um, Jane and Sigrid, um, two of my favorite musicians here. And uh, they're both girls, um, but they're they got a very unique way of singing and so I go through this list and uh, I go to the bottom and then I click the um, Spotify web player playlist extractor bookmark I click that and it what it basically does is it, it rips it, it basically um, condenses down all the text content that's in the page and then I found a way of uh, um, obtaining just the uh, information about the songs and so I select that content here and I keep selecting until I stop seeing numbers the numbers are the duration of these videos so I hit part of this music content and then what I do is I turn I click the Spotify sucker brings up something like this which gives you a little bit of description on what you're supposed to do you hit paste and then you say use both and then it comes up with this list and what it's going to do is it's going to search for three videos of each one of these things and so it's going to be a search of Jane and All Right Jane and Oh Man and things like that so I can hit submit And it'll, it takes a while to to uh, figure out this bit. It'll be about 125, maybe 75 video. I don't know, something in that nature. It'll tell me how much it is. It's three times how many lines there are there. And it shouldn't take very long. There we go, and uh, then you can see there's there's um, some Jane there, and there's some Jane here, and then there's some guy that's called Jane, which is not Jane, uh, not my favorite musician, Jane, and then we have some cigarette in there too, and uh, just to save time on this uh, 
talking about this tutorial I'm just going to click on that and then I'll hit uh, add content to channel and so it's going to merge in with our XTC playlist uh, some Jane and Sigrid videos Sigrid and uh, it'll start playing them it'll throw it on the front so and then you can edit that video those video content down you can go back to the arrangement screen or to the selection screen and uh, do what's called a weed and, or you can clean the content what cleaning do does is it um, it removes repeats so um, we might go through this because it looks like there's a lot of repeats in here and the cleaning is very quick the weeding takes forever um, and because uh, it's doing image comparisons but it'll be done in a second here there we go and what it did is it just it just reduced the duplicates uh, videos got rid of those and then I I could I could shuffle this but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it on the front and I'm going to na rename it uh, something else and I'm gonna call it XTC um, but I'm gonna say Jane Jane and Sigrid Sigrid uh, meets XTC XTC 24 7 and so that will be my playlist and then I go back to the playlist directory to look it up it's going to be in, uh, in um, alphabetical order we can jump to the content quickly um, by thumbing through the playlist but uh, to make use of uh, the bookmarklet uh, that we got on square free we can throw up square free bookmarklets where we were just at a second ago click to the site and go down to I think it's search bookmarklets or um, maybe it's link oh it's I think it's miscellaneous and in there um, you got increment and decrement uh, throw up the increment throw up the decrement and uh, um, change this to be a plus change this to be a minus and then duplicate those copy paste you might want to paste it several times paste paste and whoops paste it there paste and then rename this edit call it plus 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 you'll see what I'm going to do in a second here and this will be useful in, for later in case you needed to use this for other sites to thumb through content copy so I'm giving you another little tutorial in here to make this more useful than just what we're doing here so minus 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 you can learn a little bit of JavaScript. Not not enough to get intimidated by it. Um, and we'll put that there, and then we can go into this and look up the text IB. There it is. We click on that text, and we adjust it. We set this to ten and on this one over here it's going to be positive one we're going to change that to ten we have to go back find this IB I found it fairly quick the first time there uh, where are you IB There it is. So it's towards the front, so I'll just have to remember that. And uh, go up here, edit, and thumb through. Go to the very beginning because it's within the first line. And then type, put uh, 
zero zero there and do it over here add it I'm just going to use the cursor to get there quickly then zero zero and then uh, then uh, you can go to you know that was a lot to go through to do what I'm going to do now which is if I click here you'll see that it shows up six here uh, and we're going to look for J down here and it's on C so let's do a double and uh, it went it overstepped it so let's go back a few pages and uh, I think we are we coming up on it JK LM okay so it's gonna be still back up a little further back a little bit further and just a little more further and uh, let's see is it on this page there it is right there so Jane Sigrid 24-7 actually it's supposed to be Jane Sigrid it meets XTC this is the one right here and so we hit select that and it showed up as a station but so on um, it's playing some XTC there and uh, it's not a station it showed up as a station before but I think if we go back to that page then it will show up as being uh, um, let me reload that uh, I guess it did yeah, I guess it does show up as 310 videos it really shouldn't it shouldn't be playing oh you know what I think might change it is if we go into the playlist and we move a few videos around and then hit save order and then go back to the play TV style there and uh, I think it will reset it I'm not sure and uh, no, it's still playing uh, 310 videos. I don't think there's that many in there, but uh, it's probably a bug. Anyhow, um, so there's like lots of content there you can select from. So I showed you the Spotify. Um, there's another part which I'm not going to talk about that's called um, uh, it's an internal script that's called a form feed, and you what you do is you basically download. Uh, a huge feed of pages from YouTube and you can save them to a file then you can run them through form feed and form feed will just suck out hundreds of thousands you know hundreds if not thousands of videos from that from that and that's how I was able to create um, somewhere in here there is a playlist full of um, album oriented Brock of 5,000 albums and that's how I got that in there and that's how I got the 3000 uh, that's how I got this um, James Camden uh, Corden's um, videos how I got all the Stephen Colbert's um, and then I ran I ran a program like auto harp on some of them to uh, reduce the video content down on the playlist so I'm gonna as you can see I'm running right up against the time that I need to hold this event so I need to save this out and upload it to YouTube so I can prevent it. provide it in the event I'm probably going to create a custom playlist too so let me uh, I'm going to do that and I'm just going to cut it here thank you